All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my final Q&A leading up to the fourth episode of Fear the Walking Dead Season 3. In this one first, we're going to give our thoughts on an article that lists some different ways that Fear the Walking Dead does things better than the original. And we're going to start in this one with giving our thoughts on a recent article from fandom.wikia.com. This one's from uh, Drew uh, Deitch. And it says, uh, why Fear the Walking Dead is better than The Walking Dead. And a few people asked me to give my thoughts on this one. Uh, yeah, seriously, link will be in the description. You guys can click on it so you can uh, see for yourselves. Um, so I'll say right now, and like I said, spoiler warning issues if you're not caught up for Fear and The Walking Dead. I mean, there's things about Fear of the Walking Dead that I personally do like. Um, but in no way, shape, or form would I say that it's at the same level as The Walking Dead, I don't think, for almost anybody. I mean, if you look at kind of the buzz around the show, the ratings, what it does, I know Fear's on during the summer, but even when it was on, you know, late spring, right after an episode of Walking Dead, even still, it didn't do anywhere near what uh, what The Walking Dead does. It's like 3 million, 4 million views an episode versus like 11 to, to like 16 or 17 sometimes for The Walking Dead. So his reasons listed are, first he has that it looks better. Um, and then he says, A common argument for Fear of the Walking Dead is purely visual. Many fans say that Fear of the Walking Dead has a stronger look to it. The cinematography and locations often create imagery that feels more cinematic than The Walking Dead. Plus, The Walking Dead has a very drab and unchanging color palette. Fear of the Walking Dead can feel vibrant and genuinely beautiful at times uh, when you're stuck in a story about the end of humanity. Uh, it can be refreshing to see the world can still look beautiful, even if things are at their worst. Um, so the visuals for fear, I mean, I, I get what he's saying here that sometimes you could say that. I, I suppose the Walking Dead kind of stays in the same type of environment. They usually film in pretty much the same, you know, place. Whereas with Fear of the Walking Dead, it is kind of cool to see them start out in L.A. and then head, you know, uh, be on the water for a while, head to, um, you know, Mexico and then get to see Mexico, which is a lot different, and then kind of back now with the ranch, uh, but strand at the hotel. So it does have some pretty cool environment, environmental shots in it. Um, and I would say that I'm thinking of the uh, stadium and things like that. So I guess... I guess you can see that, but I, I think the original Walking Dead TV series 2 has a really great visual feel to it as well. Even though they use kind of a grainier kind of old school camera in the beginning in the first few seasons or so, uh, I think it's the first two roughly when Frank Darabont was uh, around with the show, he was big on that. I've seen interviews where he talked about that. So I guess you could kind of say that. I could kind of see where you might think that it looks better. And also, it just started so much later on, you know, technology has been upgraded and stuff and they use probably better quality equipment for fear than they did with The Walking Dead. But personally, I mean, I, I get what he's saying, but still, I kind of feel like The Walking Dead, the original, kind of feels like more homey to me, I guess. I'm just like kind of used to it uh, and kind of like I'm just, yeah, I'm just I'm just used to it. So personally, I mean, I don't think that's a huge deal. Uh, next one is more horror and says... One of the big complaints about The Walking Dead is how it quickly shifted from being a horror story into a survival drama. The zombies rarely pose any real threat to the characters. Fear of the Walking Dead still remains an actual, well, fear of The Walking Dead. The violence comes more from the horror elements than the actual characters. Not to mention that the zombies are still treated as things to be scared of if you're a horror fan. Fear of the Walking Dead is a highly superior piece of genre work so viewing it as more kind of scary with regards to the horror um i've always kind of felt like the walking dead has a nice medium where it kind of is between you know survival horror but then it also has the drama and it has a lot of action in it too there's episodes or seasons like season three that feels like an action season then you have other parts that maybe like season four feel more like horror with some really dark stuff uh, karen and david and the stuff they did with that um so it, it depends i can kind of see it but generally i mean you know, it is, are the zombies better in Fear or are they better in the original? I would say personally I like the zombies better in the original. I think they look better. We've had kind of more of them, for example, like in Season 6 with the huge mega herd. And uh, even though maybe you could see that sometimes uh, Fear of the Walking Dead could be a bit more scary, I guess... 
Um, I thought Terminus with uh, the cannibals was really scary and really dark. I thought that, uh, you know, Negan and the brutality of episode one was really scary and intimidating. And I don't think if I've been that scared by anybody in fear as like we got to see in the season seven premiere or in some of the other parts of the show. So I, I kind of get that, but I like, I like, you know, Walking Dead better with respects to all the horror in the look of the zombies and also in kind of the, uh, you know, the, the fear that we've seen in it versus uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, characters are less cartoonish, he's got listed here. Sometimes that upsets people about The Walking Dead is how over-the-top the characters of the show have become. Though Negan, Daryl, and other members of The Walking Dead are beloved by fans, they are also close to being uh, caricatures. Fans have said that Madison, Nick, Alicia, and many other cast members just feel more like real people. The heightened conflict of The Walking Dead and its, fic- or its faction-focused stories don't quite match up to the more interpersonal elements at play in Fear the Walking Dead that makes for characters that have a better opportunity to grow and change. Also, there's more ambiguity to the characters. The Walking Dead is littered with clear-cut good and evil people. That's not the case with Fear the Walking Dead, and that helps them to be even more believable. So I personally don't prefer the characters in Fear more than the original series uh, myself, but I do see how you could kind of argue that maybe they're more like real people. They're more like kind of regular, run-of-the-mill type of people, and they're not like you don't see a character like Michonne come in with uh, you know the uh, the sword and stuff and just start dicing zombies up. You don't have like uh, Ezekiel that has a tiger and some of these more cartoony elements. But I mean, of course, that's going to be how it is when it's based on a comic book series that is a comic book, you know, so that's kind of a different type of medium than you would get with kind of a TV series drama. Uh, I personally would say that sometimes I'd like Fear to be a little bit more cartoonish personally for me because I feel like the characters, you know, none of them have any signature weapons for the most part. Uh, Nick kind of has his own gimmick, though, with kind of being Whisper-esque and that he'll go into kind of Whisper mode and that kind of thing. So I wouldn't say that they're not cartoony at all, but maybe you could look at Fear, and this is the way I look at it, as more like a pure drama series whereas the original series is more kind of action-oriented, weapons, and that kind of thing. And yeah, maybe you could say the characters are more cartoonish, but personally, I like the characters in The Walking Dead far more than the ones we've had so far in Fear. They don't have anybody in Fear that I like as much as some of the big ones in The Walking Dead. Rick, um, you know, Negan, uh, you know, even like uh, in the TV series Carl, I would say, Daryl, Carol, some of the others. There's really like nobody in Fear that I like as much as almost any of those characters from The Walking Dead, especially after the uh, double premiere in the uh, se- in season three. And the last one they have is that it's not predictable. So I would have to agree that it's not predictable after the season three uh, premiere, that's for sure. Uh, maybe you could say it's less predictable than The Walking Dead with what direction they're going to take. But The Walking Dead is not really that predictable either. People seem to think that it is, but I almost never see people's predictions ahead of time that aren't like spoilers that end up being correct. You know, if you look at... Um, uh, like the season seven premiere, people there was no real consensus over who people thought was going to be killed off in the season seven premiere. People were all over were all over the place. Some people thought it would be uh, you know Carl. Some people thought it would be who knows Eugene or whoever. Nobody was able to predict that in the season seven premiere. And a lot of the deaths throughout the series in the original series. I would say we're not really that predictable either. So maybe fear is a little bit less predictable and that they're willing to kill off characters like Travis. But in The Walking Dead too, you know, they killed off Lori. They killed off a lot of these big name characters, Andrea, before we thought they would. So maybe fear is not as predictable as the original Walking Dead. But, you know, unpredictability and kind of having a nice story too they kind of are a trade-off and they kind of fight against each other. If you do stuff like you kill off, you know, characters people would never expect you to, sometimes it can kind of take away from the story being a great story and you can have, like, characters that people don't like as much kind of surviving onward rather than having the characters that you do really like you know, surviving on further, and people can predict based on, you know, who they think they would kill, which one would be better or worse for the show. So it's a pretty cool article. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves and kind of write your comments below and let me know what you think with regards to Fear versus the original series. Maybe some things you like better. Um, Season 3, I think, has been off to a great start. And I'm excited to see the future for Fear and how many seasons it's going to get, what it's going to become, and, uh, you know, what other characters we're going to get to meet because we just don't have that many so far. Personally, for me, you know, the original series will probably always be my favorite. Uh, Fear would have to do some really incredible stuff to get me to like it more than the original Walking Dead. 
And so far, I just don't see that same, you know, uh, interest uh, from myself anywhere, that same hype for fear as I get for the original Walking Dead. Even though I do see some points here as being like, um, you know, it may, you know, of course, in some ways, you know, any series is going to be better than others, depending on how you compare them. Next one is from Alexander and the Savers, who says, Trev, Q&A. Do you think that Daniel is still haunted by the ghost of his wife? Please give your opinion on this uh, and keep up the awesome work as always. So do you think we'll see her again? Uh, I don't think so. It'd kind of be cool because then you kind of play up the angle that Daniel's kind of crazy. He's not all with it. And maybe, maybe we could see that tonight with Strand and that. But I kind of would think that, um, you know, most likely he's probably moved on from that. If they were going to do it, they'd have to have the actress come back and everything. I'm not familiar with her name, but they'd have to have her come back. And I think generally you probably probably want to move on from that because we've kind of already seen that before so I don't think he will be but we'll see tonight uh, for sure but I, I don't think so. Uh, Rick Grimes says uh, why does Kim Dickens suck at acting? I mean seriously she's one of the main characters <laughs> he doesn't like her acting at all. Uh, personally I like uh, Kim Dickens acting. I like the way she plays Madison. I like that she's kind of got this really uh, sharp side to her and she's not she's not very personable she's kind of antisocial in a lot of ways and <laughs> she's not putting up with anybody's shit so I do like that from uh, Kim Dickens and the way she plays Madison. Um, I personally don't think that she sucks at acting, but, um, you know, to each their own. Depends on your tastes and that. But uh, ever since seeing Gone Girl, I thought she was uh, a great actress, at least at playing that role. Maybe some other things are kind of questionable. But even when, you know, she loses Travis and stuff, I felt for it there, and I didn't feel like it felt over the top or anything crazy. I felt like it was kind of natural for someone at her age and, you know, having lost someone before and, and kind of being uh, a bit practiced at it, I guess. You know, losing people that she cares about about husband, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think her acting's pretty good. Uh, David Letts says, uh, who do you think shot down the helicopter? So another one of these. To guess, I think it's Ophelia, but we'll see her group that she's uh, she's with right now. And we'll see maybe tonight if we can see who that was or uh, maybe next week in next week's episode. Um, then we have Storm Shadow who says, do you think Alicia is another person who is too good to fit in with the villain category? Um, no, I don't think so. You know, when she's getting high and she's, you know, hitting the bong and stuff, you know, she does say that um, uh, she thinks it was easy to kill somebody, easier than she thought it would be. So um, with that, I mean, I think that, you know, especially at her age too, people ch tend to be able to change more easily the younger they are and they're not so stuck in their ways. If you look at someone like Dale, for example, from the original series, you know, a lot of times the older you get also in real life too, you're less able to change and, and to roll with big changes. So at her age, I don't think she's too good to be able to fit. I think she'd be able to do it. She might have some struggles, but of course uh, she can always get high to, uh, you know, drown those if she has to. Um, and we'll do a couple more. And this one was from earlier on the season. Uh, this person said, uh, Trav, if Travis dies in season three or four, would you quit the show since he's your favorite character, uh, if not one of your favorite characters uh, in all of, of Fear? So um, really good question. That's from Trev Chan Rules. And I swear to God, that's his name. And I don't pick his questions just because that's his name. He private messages them to me, as you guys can too. And I'll put them in the, uh, the list and we'll use them throughout the week. Uh, it's in the About tab of the channel to private message me a question. Um, yes. Yeah, so am I going to quit the show now that he has died? He said this before, which is kind of funny, but uh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to quit the series just because Travis was killed off, but I am kind of like, you know, looking at it like, what the hell? Because, you know, he's my favorite character in the show, and I just don't know who else to really get behind right now. I'm in a weird state where it's like, yeah, I like these characters, but I thought that Travis was, like, awesome. And so it, it, it's kind of disappointing to see this season and not have him in it already when it's like, man, he's probably the most standout character from Fear, and he's dead now, you know? So um, we're not going to... I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to have, like, a Rick for that show. We might not at all, unless you want to think of Madison as, that, as your Rick for Fear of the Walking Dead, which is just weird to think of. Uh, and last one, let's make this last one for today. will be from Dr. Smarty Pants, who says, Trav, I have a question for you, Q&A. Uh, do you like the look of Broke Jaw Ranch so far from what we have seen? Um... He says, I like it uh, way better than La Colonia already. So, yeah, the look of the ranch is pretty cool. A lot of people have kind of been uh, theorizing that it could have some, some things that are hidden, maybe some secrets and some things that they've done that are not so good. So we'll have to see if maybe that's true because it looks really nice on the surface. Uh, maybe something else happening underneath or something else going on. But it's a pretty weird twist from the beginning of the season where you have Troy doing this crazy stuff and this science and what have you to kind of like getting here and having it be like a zombie apocalypse haven and everything or heaven 
um, you know, safe haven, heaven type of, of place where there's no zombies around. You're like isolated and it's like safe, right? Uh, and people are just like, you know, hitting the bong or doing whatever they're doing. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think of that you would have a place like that. So uh, we'll see what they do with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like a really nice place. Um, I like the La Colonia as well, too, and the other places we saw, though, because again, in terms of environments, they were so different from the original series that you know, we never seen anything like it. Anyway, that'll be it for this uh, video today, guys. I'll see you back again tonight, of course, for the review for Fear, predictions for next week's episode, and send me all your questions after tonight for, uh, you know, Q&As this week uh, leading up to episode 5, after episode 4, and also for the original Walking Dead, too, if you have any you want to send. Maybe I can throw together a video this week for you guys for the original Walking Dead. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.